I hated working at Walmart, but I also loved working there at the same time, but for the wrong reasons. You see, I hated working there because the management was so garbage, but I also loved working there because the management was so garbage. Every time you clocked in, there's almost always something that happens that makes you wonder, how the fuck is this company still in business? Hey, legit, I got six pallets for you to run. Dog, I go home in 40 minutes. <laughs> Not anymore, you don't. I'll put you in for overtime. Bruh, what are you gonna be doing? Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and watch you work to uh, make sure you're doing a good job. Listen, legit, don't try me on this one. I'll put you in for some overtime. You'll be here after four hours. You're already at five points. I could fire you right now if I so please. Just go Fuck run this place. I quit. This place fucking sucks. You guys don't pay me enough. I'm Managers going on break. Here. I swear, there's always something that amuses me at the end of the day when everybody goes to clock out. Like, you got the maintenance guys having a fucking PTSD episode. I don't know how much longer I can deal with this shit, man. And that then as they're style, talking, man. you see the frozen dairy guys coming to clock out like they took a trip around fucking Antarctica. And then as they're clocking out, you got the night shift coming in looking like they just got drafted for the fucking war. Like, when I first got hired during orientation, one of the managers was like, we're not just workers, we're family. And they're not joking when they say that. The amount of shit you and your coworkers go through actually makes you feel like a family. Dude, you know Becky in Garden Center? Yeah, what about her? Bro, she died of a stroke last night while on shift. Damn, that sucks. Get back to work. And when I say the amount of shit you have to go through, I mean it. God bless the maintenance workers of Walmart. If you're thinking about working maintenance at Walmart, here's what you can expect on a day-to-day -day basis. Use tampons, needles, shit-stained toilets, and there's been a couple times while I was working there where someone took a shit on the floor. And I haven't even gotten into pay raises yet at Walmart. Now, I have never been eligible for a pay raise at Walmart, and don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure it has something to do with how many points you have. If you have four or more points, I am 90% sure you're not eligible for a pay raise. Not that I'd call it a pay raise anyways, because assuming you made $14 an hour, you would only get a 28 cent pay raise. Hey, guess what? You just got a pay raise. Wait, really? Yeah, here's your pocket change, my guy. Uh, what is this? <laughs> That's your pay raise. And for those of you that aren't too great at math, if you were to work at Walmart for 20 years of your life, you'd get a $5.60 pay raise. I've been working here 20 years, and y'all only gonna give me a $5 pay raise? Yeah, that sounds about right. Here you go. Now, let me tell you about the Walmart food real quickly. When you're going on lunch, there's pretty much only cold food or the deli food. Now, I usually chose the cold food because I swear that that deli food has almost killed me. Yo, I'm going on lunch, bro. All right, you better be back in a fucking hour. Yo, deli, let me get some food. Damn, y'all got some straight dog shit over here, bro. Bro, did you throw up into that one? What the fuck is that? Bro, that's our corn. What the fuck? Now, I didn't even talk about the customers in this video because it would literally just be me fat shaming people. So here's Here's all I'm gonna say. If your thighs take up half the aisle, it's time to get some help. But in all seriousness though, if you're looking for a job, Walmart isn't too bad. It's one of those jobs where you can just kind of clock in, dick around the entire time, and then get paid while doing it. Like if you asked me where an item was in the store and you actually followed my advice on where to look for it, your ass would be miles away from what you're looking for. Hey, do you know where the yogurt is? Yeah, I think it's in the arts and crafts section. So in conclusion, don't eat the fucking corn dogs at Deli. They're disgusting. <laughs>